Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very bittersweet video for me uh, and it's going to be my last lipstick roulette. So before I get into the lipsticks I'm just going to kind of explain it because I said this is going to be my last lipstick roulette which is technically true. Uh, but after this video I'm going to film another video which is going to be my wrap up. I go through stats, um, my feelings, my thoughts, all of that. So in this video it will be quite short and sweet and I will mainly go through the lipsticks and I will save all of my other thoughts into the next video. But like I mentioned, let's just jump into the shades. So as you may remember from last update, I only have three lipsticks in this round, which is the last three that I have. And the first one that I have is this one from NARS, which is one of their audacious lipsticks in the shade Raquel. This is a very nice nude lipstick and um, it's definitely more on the warm side um, although I would say that it's not super super warm. The formula of these lipsticks are amazing. I actually never tried the Audacious lipsticks before this one is the only one that I own but I really really love it. This is actually one of the newer lipsticks in my collection. I've really tried to stop buying lipsticks more recently because I do have quite a lot as you've seen in this series but this one is one that I picked up on flying because I have this kind of tradition when I go traveling I try to pick up a lipstick more as a kind of souvenir or just yeah it's just kind of a tradition for me so that's when I picked this up uh, and it's a beautiful shade and I'm really really happy I have it in my collection. So I don't have too many nude lipsticks but this one is like I said a real favorite for me mainly because of the formula but the shade is also stunning. Again, I may have similar shades to this in my collection, I don't know, um, but due to the formula and the shade currently, I will be keeping this at least. But if for some reason I have something similar to this in my collection, I feel like I'm still going to be keen to keep this one because I do really, really love it. And there you have Raquel swatched out on my hand. So the next lipstick that we have is this one right here, which is from Soap and Glory, and this one is one of their sexy mother pucker glossics in the shade Rapunzel. So this shade is kind of similar to quite a few different shades I've had in this project, which is where it's um, a very vampy shade in the tube, but it comes out more sheer on the lips. I actually really really like the undertone of this lipstick, and it's actually kind of in the same color family as the NARS lipstick. But as I've explained previously in the series before, when it comes to vampy shades like this or kind of this type of formula, I'm quite against keeping shades uh, in a sheer glossy formula. This is because one, when I wear something vampy, I want it to be quite noticeable. I want it to be the statement of my makeup. And if you wear something sheer, that doesn't really do that. The second part of that is because it does smear. And I feel like obviously with dark shades, it it's kind of worse if it smears because it's gonna go all over your face basically but that is basically the reason why I'm not gonna keep this lipstick I do like the shade on me I like I think it's a beautiful kind of shade but I just don't see myself reaching for it and dark vampy shades in my mind kind of goes together with matte lips um, that's just how I see it and that's how I prefer it my preferred kind of formula for dark vampy shades so not rambling on anymore, this lipstick will be leaving my collection because of all of the above reasons. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful shade but it's just not for me. Because I'm not going to reach for it and because of that reason I'll may just as well declutter it. I do want to note though that this formula is amazing, it's really really pretty and I do have, well I used to have two other shades, I've had one of them before and I have another shade in the same formula and it's amazing, it's so comfortable and it's really really moisturizing. So if you are into these shades, I definitely recommend this one. And there you have the so big glory lipstick swatched out on my hand. And then the final lipstick ever in my lipstick roulette is the one that I'm currently wearing. And this one is one from my beloved Colourpop Matte X um, lip lipsticks in the shade Daydream. So if you've seen any of the videos before when I featured um, a Colourpop Matte X lip lipsticks, you know that I love these. The Formula is one of my absolute favorites and kind of like I mentioned before, when I do want a dark kind of statement lip, I want it to be matte. And this is the best matte formula that I've tried. It is long lasting, it is kind of really really matte and it sticks to your lips, you don't really have to apply much. It is a tiny bit drying but it's not too dry in my opinion. I feel like this is kind of, it performs like a liquid lipstick, it is, does transfer a little bit but after a few hours I feel like it doesn't really transfer that much anymore. But it's just so much more comfortable and it looks nicer as well because I feel like sometimes liquid lipsticks can look really thick on the lips or it can look really like crackly and this doesn't do that at all. 
it's still kind of comfortable in a way and um, I know some people said that they find these really really drying but not for me I think it's great and it is like I said comfortable um, and the small kind of dryness and like discomfort I wouldn't say discomfort because it's not discomforting for me but the slight discomfort that I can see people may have definitely is outweighed by the positives of this lipstick so no further ado I'm definitely going to keep this in my collection because the shade is beautiful and the formula is amazing so it's another one that I'm gonna keep. And there you have the Colourpop lip sticks. Again it kind of goes in the same colour family. I think I got a really cohesive colour story last time. But there you guys was it. We are done with the lipstick roulettes and that is insane to me. I won't go into any of my thoughts or feelings about this project in this video because like I said I will do a wrap up video probably in a few days I will post that and probably middle of next week I will try to get it up. So in there I will go through all the stats, the numbers, my thoughts and feelings and also kind of what will happen after this is done because um, I will continue doing some sort of projects with my lipsticks and I will let you all know what that is in my next video. So uh, I'm not going to keep this any further. If you really liked it then give it a thumbs up and um, yeah please you stay tuned for the next video because I will explain everything in there and meanwhile have a nice day. I will talk to you then. Bye!